Bring your pads to life. We start with a simple pad. Let's add some movement to it. Load up Ableton's envelope and utility on the pad track. Map the envelope MIDI to the utility's gain. Set the ADSR, turn off velocity, and turn down the range's maximum. Next, add a shaper, duplicate the utility, and map the shaper to the new utility's gain. Lower the maximum range, set the rate and the depth. Quick sample trick for hi-hats. Add a hat sample to an empty MIDI track. Activate the slice, trigger, and manual modes. Place three markers for a total of four chops. Select a bar on the track and insert a MIDI clip. Make a pattern. Each note triggers one chop. Change the velocity of each to emphasize the rhythm and duplicate the notes. Next, add an LFO. Map it to the simpler's fade in and reduce the LFO top range. Add a high pass EQ and a compressor. Side chain to the kick, lower the threshold and activate peak mode. Played in context, the hi-hat feels more human. Happy accidents with this blending technique. We start with a plucky loop from our new acoustic four pack. Group it. Now we are looking for a more atmospheric sound. Perfect. Place it on the second chain. Activate chain and adjust the lines accordingly. You can now blend between the sounds by moving this marker. Next, we automate this with a LFO. Map the LFO to the marker of the chain. Dial in the rate to your taste and adjust the depth. Great starting point for happy accidents. Are you adding reverb properly? This is our dry sound. This is with improper washed out reverb. Let's fix this and create space for the sharp stab transients. We're gonna group the reverb, then create dry and wet chains. Make sure the reverb is 100% wet. Next, we're adding a heavy side chain to duck the reverb when the sharp stabs need to cut through. Dial in the reverb's volume to suit the track. Struggling with two sounds that clash with each other? Do this. Here we have a bass layer that gets in the way of our bass stab. Put an envelope follower and an EQ8 on the stab's track. Here you can roughly set the EQ bands to cover the overlaps using EQ8's visualizer. Then map your envelope follower to the gain of these filter nodes and set the mod percentage 50 to 0%. Next, move the EQ8 to the bass layer's track. You can dial in the attenuation with the envelope follower's gain knob. How to add depth to your drums. Creating depth in your songs is all about smart layering. Here we add a stunning dimension to our hi-hats. In parallel processing, we're using an envelope follower to modulate the amount of erosion. After cutting all the low frequencies, we send the signal through reverbs. Lastly, we use a gate to tighten up the effect and control the groove. This is our original sound. Here is the effect. And the two together.
Let's check out the PML Rumble Rack. It's a great tool to create the perfect kick rumble for your techno track. Use the rack on your kick track and simply dial in the low and mid rumble knobs to your taste. Here's how it works. <laughs> 